Hamilton arrived with his crew, Nathaniel Pendleton, and a doctor that he knew. Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and this line is from the now famous play, Hamilton, by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Now, who was Nathaniel Pendleton? Well, before he became the second to Alexander Hamilton in America's most famous duel, Nathaniel Pendleton was a founder in his own right. He came from the Pendleton family of Virginia, many of whom participated in the Revolution. But Pendleton, Nathaniel Pendleton, when he was just 19 years old, signed up for the Continental Army because he wanted to join the Revolution. He did this and quickly became an aide-de-camp to uh, another Nathaniel, Nathaniel Green, who was, of course, the last and most successful commander of the Southern Department of the War. And being an aide-de-camp to Nathaniel Green made Nathaniel Pendleton, uh, he was there for many of the most important battles at the end in the Southern Front of the Revolutionary War. Now, after the war ended, he moved from Virginia to Georgia, where he set up a law practice and became very successful. He was actually chosen as Attorney General for Georgia, and he spent about three years in that position uh, and, the, and before George Washington became president. And when Washington became president, he nominated, like presidents do, several judges for several positions throughout the states. And when George Washington did it, it meant you were an inaugural member. So Nathaniel Pendleton was nominated and approved as United States District Attorney for the District of Georgia. Just, Georgia was just one district. <laughs> it was big, but it wasn't that populated. And this means that Nathaniel Pendleton was the inaugural District Attorney for the District of Georgia in the United States. And he served in this position for about seven years before he resigned and for some reason that I couldn't locate, he moved to New York. He lived in, New H in Hyde Park, which is about 100 miles north of New York City, and he became a county judge, which is a position he more or less retired into. But through the war and moving to New York, he became friendly with Alexander Hamilton. So when Hamilton was challenged to a duel with Aaron Burr, he got his friend Nathaniel Pendleton to come out. Now, the reasons why he chose Pendleton specifically are a little vague, uh, they were close, they were friendly, uh, and now that Hamilton had more or less retired, now that Adams was out of office and Jefferson was president, Hamilton was in New York just attending to his own business, but the capital was no longer New York City, it was Washington. So a lot of his, uh, we'll say, gentlemanly friends, gentlemanly friends, were uh, down in Washington or following the federal government somehow. So, push came to shove, he needed a number two, and he tapped Nathaniel Pendleton. Nathaniel Pendleton rode across the, the, uh, the river to Weehawken with Hamilton. He was there when Hamilton got shot. He's the one who ran over first and propped up Hamilton while Hamilton turned to the physician on site and said, this is a mortal wound, doctor. And uh, Nathaniel Pendleton was the one who rode him back across the water, brought him to his family, and made the announcements. Not that he died, but that he had been shot. And that's more or less where Nathaniel Pendleton's story ends. Unfortunately, he did a lot for the America and the American Revolution at large, but he will always be remembered as the number two Hamilton's assistant that time that Hamilton got shot to death. So that's the story of Nathaniel Pendleton. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. I uh, Let's see if we can get 10 likes on this one. That would be great. Uh, and if you uh, stumbled onto this video, definitely hit subscribe. Other than that, my name is Jason. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back to you with another founder tomorrow.